Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your uh, Windows 7 PC, or this could work on a Windows Vista, or Windows XP, but Windows 7 and Windows Vista are the best, but this is showing you how to make them look like a Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Currently Mountain Lion isn't released yet to the public, but you might have saw it, and I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to make your computer look like that. Okay, so first off, you need to download uh, the download the file. It's from the link in the description. And once you've got that downloaded to your desktop, yeah, download it to your desktop, of course. You want to go ahead and uh, extract the files. Extract two and just extract and just press OK. And this is a uh, 26 megabyte file I create. I worked out. Uh, kind of hard on it. It's very hard to get some of these things put on here, but it's okay. Don't worry. Anyway, once you've got it extracted, just open it up. And I've placed in some simple things right here for you. Now, if you'd rather uh, read the instructions later on, I have provided a like a giant instruction manual for you to go by. Uh, right there, it's instructions. It's a text document. Anyway, here's what we want to do. Just like in the instructions, what we want to do is open up the folder object doc program. And you want to click on the last one that says object doc installer.exe. Once you have installed that, you can go ahead and run it and it will pop up a little dock at the bottom. But that's not the dock that we're going to be using. What we want to do next is we're going to apply the theme. And this is not in the order that the text document is in but I'm just going in my own order the text document uh, I didn't go in I wrote it but I didn't go in the same order that I'm going to go in so once you've got that applied and installed and everything next up we want to click on wallpaper now I've given you two different wallpapers um, they're both kind of the same from here but if you actually click on this is a, a option A the original one which is a huge file and then you got option B, which is the blurred version. Of course, I recommended option A; it's the main one. But uh, in case you want a blurred version, I went ahead and created a blurred version for you. So anyway, we're just going to double tap on the photo. We're just going to right click and set as desktop background. Okay. Once that's done, you can click out of that and click the arrow to go back. Next up, we want to come up here to the. Um, we want to come into here and once we've we have to make sure we've installed this guys make sure you have installed object doc uh, we're going to click on mountain lion theme or just click on it once don't open it and right click on it and then copy it just, just press copy then I'm going to uh, X out for that for just a second we want to go into our start menu here I want to click on computer, uh, our drive, our hard disk. Then you want to click on program files times 86 for me. Some people might need to try just regular program files. You might go into that. Scroll down uh, and find Stardock. Right there it is. Here's Stardock. And we're just going to double click on that. Then we've got these two options right here. What we want to do first is go into Object Doc Free. Once you've gone to Object Doc Free, click on Backgrounds. Once you're in Backgrounds, click on Zoomers. And from Zoomers, you're going to come out into the margin where it's empty. And you're going to right click and you're going to select Paste. It will paste in Mountain Lion theme, which is to kick uh, right in here. It is uh, kind of a shortcut, you could say, but anyway, that does that doesn't matter. Once we've got that theme applied into there, you can click out, and let's go ahead and run Object Doc now. In fact, let's do this. So open up the Object Doc again and select Object Doc. This is just run it as a shortcut. Alright, so yours will not look like mine whenever you first load it up. It's going to look totally different. 
it's not going to have none of these icons and it's not going to look like the dock I have running so what we want to do is we want to right click out somewhere to the side where nothing is on just right click and click on settings you can actually click out of this now for now so once we've clicked on settings and it loads which will be on mine, I don't know why the Safari icons right there but oh I'm running Safari anyway, anyway you want to select style slash color and then you want to select change background so once you're in change background you want to scroll down and you want to actually uh, find the recently installed uh, thing we just installed to it so all those load up or you could just click on open backgrounds folder to enter in uh, whichever one you want anyway from here you want to select whichever one it gives you the option to select um, mine actually says snow leopard but the snow leopard dock is the same as the mountain lion and lion dock so whatever or you can also choose um, if, if that's okay you can also choose silver fox they're practically the same the only difference is uh, this one's a little bit darker and plus snow leopard has like little indicator lights anyway once you've chosen that or mountain lion just click ok and we're done with that and you can also I like uh, fiddling with the transparency I think that's like a great thing and also edit the blur and reflection ok we're done with that just click off that now here comes uh, the, the uh, fun part we need to take in the following icons I'm actually gonna load up my text document here so I can make it actually easier just load uh, the instructions and I'm gonna go ahead and list out the icons or the things that you need to put into your dock to get it completely set up actually go ahead here make that a little bit smaller okay so we uh, need to have iTunes installed just by the way give you a quick link to that so what you need to get is my computer you need to get a my computer shortcut put it right here on the dock or actually just put it in we can rearrange them later we need an internet browser you can use Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer etc 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 just whatever internet browser you prefer I'm using Google Chrome and I know it looks like Safari there but we'll get to that part later uh, Windows contacts go ahead and install that in there or I'm sorry I skipped one a mail program or sh a shortcut to a mail email provider a Windows contacts the app a document editor it can be Microsoft Word Microsoft works anything you like using as a document editor or you can just put in a shortcut to Google documents or Google Docs a presentation editor uh, like Word or a video editor Microsoft uh, what it's called or a video editor though like you can use uh, AVS or something like uh, Windows Movie Maker okay the next one you need the notes application which is actually what I'm using notepad uh, but it don't matter sorry about that anyway uh, now next up you're gonna add a sticky notes app or add another notes app whichever one you prefer if you want to add another notes app, that's fine. Uh, Windows Live Messenger or another or other messenger service. Uh, Skype or another video calling service. I prefer Skype; it's it's real great for Windows. A uh, webcam software. If you don't have a webcam, don't worry. We'll get back to that later. A shortcut uh, to a library of choice. It can be photos, videos, or your entire library. A shortcut to my computer or OS drive, which is actually listed up here, also. Um, anyway, iTunes app, uh, I'll put the download link above up here. A shortcut to your control panel, and also add a show desktop docklet to your dock. I'll show you how to do that. 
actually just come out to the side of the dock, click on add, and then click docklet, and then click show desktop. Anyway, so after you've added all them applications and shortcuts into there, uh, we're going to rearrange it. I've actually provided a, uh, you can go to Apple to figure out how to rearrange it, or I've rearranged them all right in here. They're, they're pre rearranged right here, so you know how to rearrange them. And also, you're going to name them this. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through that. So, once you've got them all in there, you're going to rename them just by right clicking on them and doing some stuff to rename them. So, we're going to rename my computer to Finder. We're going to rename the start menu to Launchpad. We're going to rename Show Desktop to Mission Control. We're going to rename our internet browser, like I said, Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Or Internet Explorer. We're going to rename either one of them to Safari. Uh, we're going to name our mail or email provider to email. We're going to rename our contacts app to address book. We're going to rename any of our document editor to pages. Our presentation editor or video editor to Keynote. We're going to rename our sticky notes or notes application to reminders. We're going to rename our notes or notepad application to notes. We're going to rename our Windows Messenger or Messaging Program to Messages. We're going to rename Skype Video or Video Calling Program to FaceTime. And we're going to rename we're going to rename a webcam software to Photo Booth. And right here I've got this listed. If you if you have no webcam or webcam software, just drag in the Photo Booth icon. Just drag that into the dock. I do have one though. I just want to put that in there in case you don't have one. A uh, library shortcut is uh, just going to be iPhoto, iTunes, stay iTunes, just drag in the iTunes in with no editing. Drag in the App Store icon without software, that means just drag in the icon, you don't need any software with it, or if you want to find some software to go into it, you can. And then the control panel, we're gonna, when that's in there, just uh, name it Preferences. Then the recycle bin, we're going to change the name of that to trash bin. Uh, we have them listed in correct orders. Next up, um, let's see here. Yeah, we've already done that. Anyway, we've got all the themes applied. Now, uh, the fun part is going to be changing the icons. Now this might take just a little bit, but I have provided each icon right here in Mac OS X Mountain Lion icons. Just click on there and I've got a full service of each PNG uh, photo of large icons that I have like, literally looked forever to find. Like, here we go. They're pretty large, most of them, except for the notes. Uh, there's uh, Contacts, App Store, Calendar, FaceTime, Finder, iPhoto. Uh, iPhoto will be the library one, by the way. Uh, let's see. There's your Keynote. Launchpad, which is huge. There's your Mail. Uh, messages is kind of small, but that don't matter. I couldn't find a large one. It's it's brand new. Uh, there is your... Uh, freaking, what is it called? Mission Control. There's your Notes. The only small one, I'm sorry. Pages. It's huge. Photo booth, reminders, and yeah, it's kind of small too. Uh, Safari, and preferences, and your trash bin. And I also provided that for no reason at all. I just felt like putting that in there. It's my logo. Anyway, there's all the uh, icons you need. And we're just going to put them into the dock as the correspondent. Don't put that one in there. I just provided that, okay? <laughs> Just uh, put it into the corresponding. If you want me to go ahead and tell you, of course, Finder is going to go with my computer. A uh, launch pad goes with Start Menu. Uh, Mesh Control goes with uh, Show Desktop, which we can add, like I showed you. Uh, Safari icon goes with in your internet browser. Uh, mail icon goes with your mail. Uh, the uh, address book icon goes with your contacts. Uh, the Pages icon goes with your Word document editor. Uh, the keynote icon goes with your presentation editor or your video editor. Reminders and notes goes with any kind of notes application. 
Uh, the Messages icon goes with the Windows Messenger or Messenger application. Uh, the FaceTime icon goes with Skype or other video calling service. Photo mm -hmm. Booth goes with your webcam software. Uh, like I said, if you don't have one, just drag in the icon. iPhoto goes with your library, or uh, like your full library app, or a certain one like photos or videos. Uh, iTunes goes with iTunes, just dragging that app. And App Store, you can find a Windows App Store. I removed mine, but if you don't want it, uh, you can just drag it straight in there and use it as a photo. Then you got the preferences, which I replaced with a uh, control panel. Uh, and I, it's actually named settings in here. Don't worry, just rename it to preferences. I can't do it, I've already submitted it to Mediafire. I'm not going to wait another, I don't know how long to get it. That right there is just the uh, recording software I'm using. And I've currently got a different browser open, so that's why it shows two safaris. Because <laughs> this is actually Google Chrome over here. Actually, to prove that to you, Google Chrome, as you can see. Had to look up the actual size of 1080p, I wasn't exactly sure. <laughs> anyway, but this is Safari over here. Uh, then you got your Windows Explorer. This is what's open right now. Don't worry, that'll go away as soon as I click out. So, and then there's your trash bin. Just correspond that with your trash bin icon, unless you have Icon Packager. Anyway, once we've got all that done, we're pretty much set up to go. Now, I prefer changing the fonts, so I did not mention that into the uh, instructions because I didn't think it was that important. But you can uh, change this font uh, that's listed up there. So, uh, also, you want to change it to grow about that big and set it to bounce whenever you load something. For example, I'm going to go and load contacts like it's bouncing like that. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. This is a the new video for this newest channel. This is my secondary channel. It's also in instructions. Um, this is actually my tech channel. My first channel is my main channel with blogging, sketches, and random stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, comment, rate, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me your feedback and go to my website. Uh, thank you guys <laughs> once again for watching. Just like this video. It really helps. And tell me what kind of videos you need to post. I really need to know. Uh, just, you know. So anyway, uh, see you guys later. Uh, peace.